Hi, I'm Carrie Underly, the author of the James Beard nominated book, The Art of Beef Cutting. Today I'm going to show you what cut and cooking method goes into bouffe à la ficelle, or beef on a string. Let's get started. Now, right now we already have cranking on the stove. We have celery, rutabaga, potato, green onion, carrots, and some cabbage. The cut I like to use for beef on a string is a beef tenderloin roast. When we cook the beef tenderloin roast, we're actually going to be dropping it in the hot stock that we have going on. And so that's a poaching, so we want to make sure we choose a real tender cut of meat. And that's why I selected tenderloin. The second step is we're going to tie the beef. And we're just going to put a couple knots. So we're going to tie this on the one side and tie that off. You can use several different knots, whatever you're comfortable with. You can even do the old shoestring knot if, if that works. We're going to do it on both sides. Okay. And I'm going to do this one more time on each end. The second time I do this, we're going to leave the string and we're going to give ourselves plenty of string because then we're going to tie it to our soup ladle. I'm going to do this one more time. And then that string, again, we're going to leave long. And then what we want to do is we want to get a ladle that's going to fit over our pot. So it's important when we're tying our string is to try to keep both strings at the same length. And then we want to roll our string. And you can either cut the string, or um, if you have too much string, you can just cut it off. Now we're going to lower our roast into the stock. And you do this by gently unwinding the roast into the pot. Now the trick is, is making sure you have a pot deep enough so that the roast can actually float right in the pot. And then we just want to have this on a nice, slow simmer. Now, the trick here is you want your roast to be done about to medium or medium rare. And so we've poached this roast for about 15 minutes, and I think we're done. Here we have our beef on a string. We went ahead and sliced the beef tenderloin nice and thin, and we added it to our nice broth and our nice vegetables. You can also serve it with a little mustard or horseradish. I'm Carrie Underly, and I hope you enjoyed the segment.